My name is Marta Rendeau. Uh, I'm doing a PhD in architecture at the EPFL. I did my studies in, in Porto and um, I came to Lausanne in my fifth year to do one year exchange uh, under the Erasmus program at the EPFL. And uh, when I finished it, I moved to Basel and I've worked uh, with Swiss architects Jacques Herzog and Pierre de Moron um, for approximately four years. I think the job of an architect is a very intense one in terms of produc production. You need to do a lot all the time and in, in a very urgent context all the time. And ultimately it becomes a very mechanical work as well. So I felt this need of coming back to something that is a bit more introspective, to have time to write, to learn, to think. And um, I've had the chance to find this PhD program that was really in line with, with what I've been doing in my practice years, which is the complexity of large-scale projects. The first um, great thing about EPFL is uh, the very active and very stimulating environment. So you get to know a lot of people that are very, very talented, very engaged with what they're doing. And of course, you learn a lot from them. You get the chance to be oriented by great professors who, that help you a lot with, with your research. And at the same time, you have great facilities, you have great spaces to work, you have everything you need really to, to do a really good job. So The subject of my research is housing in the big building. So it is about the complex articulation between uh, the largest architectural scale and the smallest, the tiniest architectural scale. How to uh, solve the issue of placing such a sensitive program as housing, which is probably the most complex in terms of noise, privacy, um, light, uh, spatial quality, um, within a building that contains a lot of other programs like services, activities, equipment, and in which the connection in between the different elements is so complicated. So how can we think of an interesting way of conceiving new collective housing schemes, uh, mixed housing schemes within this uh, enormous frame and such complex uh, system of actions and interactions. Uh, these buildings are emerging quite recurrently in uh, all over the world. They started to emerge in North America and Asia and they're starting to pop up right now in, in the European scene as well. So if we are clever enough to um, study what already exists, the, pro the problems that um, uh, have been raised before and uh, all the issues pertaining to, to the formulation of these buildings, maybe we can do better things in the future. I think mainly what I'm trying to do is this uh, guiding tool uh, for the conception of these uh, large-scale buildings.